Hmm, now grandma's moist. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to be done on the crew cab in this video. We got to make some custom body mounts, front and rear, make a transmission tunnel from scratch, and also a rear floor pan. Let's get to it. <laughs> Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I know this doesn't look the best, but hand drew this on the door here. I think it'd be kind of cool to do an old shop truck logo like that. Leave it down in the comments what you guys think would be cool. This design could be literally anything, but this is something I just thought looked pretty proportional on there. Dad's building metal blocks here, and we'll put the 73 Dodge bushings within that, and then it'll use this original cab mount that's on the frame already. This is the 73 Dodge bushing kit that it's gonna be getting. So this will get drilled out, and your new bushing will go in there. what's going on here okay we want this thing to stick in a safety lock and she's a small one so to give it a little lift here and ration strapping these two by fours that are screwed into each other i don't know what other channel does sketchy stuff like this everyone's got these lifts i, I just don't know how they got them y'all had your doubts didn't you uh-huh so we're just pushing it slow real slow one two three All right, dad's gonna go ahead and weld on these back little blocks that he built onto the back cab mounts. Making the plates here so we can box everything in. Cat mounts are not the prettiest thing in the world, but they are done. There's that front one right there. It's holding the cap, doing its job. The back ones, they still need to be painted, but there they are. Now, we gotta get going, get this cross member made for the drive shaft, carry bearing, all that jazz. So right now we're looking at the rear of the transfer case and it's supposed to be the same angle. So say that 51 degrees, which is not, the drive shaft coming back has to be the same degree to the carry bearing which is this guy here, the carry bearing. It has that cross member. Gonna have to weld that in. I'm gonna weld the top part of the brace to this and it angles down to that cross member. I wanna make the cross member where it's adjustable. So if we have any vibration later on, we can adjust it up or down to get to change our angles if we need to. Using an app on the phone here, it's just gonna be negative four degrees, looks like. Negative, down. Going back to the carry bearing here, needs to be not exactly, but pretty dang close to negative four degrees. You don't never want it straight in line because the new joint won't, won't grease itself. Just tighten those. Just jack it up pretty close to the frame. So, I just want to make this where it's adjustable down. So, I gotta put some shims in here. 
Went ahead and got new drive shafts made. The front drive shaft, all we did, had to get a new carrier bearing. But this back one is completely new here. It had to be 56 inches. And so when you're gonna be measuring your drive shaft, you can go from the back of this U-joint to the front of this U-joint. Therefore, that would be the same as center to center. Gonna go ahead and put some good quality spray paint on it. So I got this cross member in here. Dad just tacked this square tubing right here. That's because it needs a drop down so we can get the angle needed. Remaking this bracket here, got an extra one. Show you that here in a second, but it's pretty small. Cut an inch off of that, but it should give us the angle that it needs. Currently, how it's set, set up here, what is it, 1.8 degrees? Yeah, yeah. And need to be about four degrees. So this should get us right. And got the rear drive shaft made that you guys saw and we'll be able to get in here. One step closer to driving this thing. If I just set this on here, there's no guarantee that I want to keep these holes the right width. See how it moves? <laughs> so I want to bolt these plates to the existing one, keep those holes all centered up, so I weld this to it, everything is still in alignment. We got the four degrees we want. Should be the same angle back here on this tail end. 0 0.1, 4.0, 3.9, it's right in there, it's bouncing around. Now, got to put these brackets here. It bolts in at the bottom here, and the top will be welded where the frame is boxed in. grandma's moist mm -hmm. all right got this on the rear end it's about as clean as your foot after a shower you know cleaner than what it was but you don't want to lick it maybe for when we put those drive shaft on you want to make sure these swines they're not all the same size this guy he's a big boy so you got to make sure to line that up with your drive shaft now dad would just hurry up give me the drive shaft we can get this done Hold that down. Why are you up in the air? <laughs> what are you doing? Let me have this side. Hold that. Holy crap. Oh. Yep. Get that on there. Nice lock tight so she ain't going nowhere. Looking pretty good there. Got a cross member all done. Painted up. Now it's time to go on these floors here. Need to make the transmission tunnel. Make this here. I'm gonna cut this out right here since it's pretty rusty. And for this hump over here, that right there is gonna be made more square to look like the driver's side here. When this is all said and done with this being a much lower transmission tunnel i think it's going to look much better than having that big old hump someday maybe a custom console and make it look all much more gooder get this patch panel here made with our 90 on it up to here i need to fill in that piece over there too right here needs to be flat because our gas pedal's got to go right in here making that piece first we're gonna do some arts and crafts here we're gonna draw it out Get all the measurements down. Probably make it out of cardboard. Real Steel Fab Art Lessons. There's a good brace right there and it's nice and solid. So leaving that part in there. That's why it's not nice and square right in there. Keeping that. And this is what Van Gogh drew up. It'll make more sense. We'll just cut it out and start fitting it. Back out your fingers. Gonna put the homemade metal brake to work. Gonna get this piece here. Put a 90 on it right there. Something like so there. One more bend here. Give her a nice angle. Look at that, making it from scratch. Real steel fabrication right here. At its finest. Pretty happy of the piece of metal. 
gotta oil the crap out of this Harbor Freight Special. It don't work very well, so we're gonna put lots of that in there. All right, something like that should work. We'll tack her in. Side's welded in now. Flipping this linkage here, as you can see, the angle is now going towards the driver's side rather than before. It's going the passenger side, so it'll be closer to the driver's seat. 27 half inches long, got varying heights going down it. So, we're gonna try and make this look as symmetrical as possible. So, this is the passenger side. As you can see, it's going straight up with this piece here. The gas pedal goes right in here. So, before that went over, you know like bowl down right there but gonna slit it here and put a piece right here through here so this is also straight i'll give enough room for the gas pedal and be symmetrical to this side i'm gonna build it out of cardboard first here just to make sure it's gonna work out so we're not wasting no metal and then go from there dad's yeah, making the cardboard template got this piece we need this for sure so go ahead and making it it's not very flat so flatten it out inch and a quarter well we need the lip of these so mark that up put that in the old metal brake tighten this bad boy up bend that up 90 degrees i'm like so all right take that off pull that out of the homemade metal brake got a 90 on her see if she'll fit first test fit here don't know what's going on there but it does have a nice, good shape to her. She's very nice and sleek. What do you think about it? What needs to be done? I need to hire somebody to do it. Here's my piece. I've made her all wrong. I'm gonna have this piece in here. Then roll that into it. Then flat right here. Shortening the back, extend it all the way up. Everywhere. Okay, I need to figure out some way to mount this. Square it on it. Does that look square? No? How about now? Yes, we're screwing cardboard in right now. Alright, transmission tunnel done. So it's fitting pretty good here. Needs to be extended down because we want to come to the bottom of the floorboard here. Put marks where it needs to be slit here so we can get this bend. Get it looking right with this here. I'm gonna cut this metal out and shape it and see if it fits in the transmission tunnel area here. mark out the lines where the bends are going to be. Now these aren't necessarily 90 degree angles, so hopefully don't bend it too much or too little. We're going to do several bends on it here. Alright. 
Place it in here, see how it's looking. A little on the short side over here. You long over there? What did I do here? Let's get down a little bit. We're a little messed up right here, but gonna do some cuts here and it'll get right. As you can see, this angle's not near sharp enough, so this needs to go down. That'll give us more length on this side and this side. Fitting a lot better. Yeah, that's just a lot better order too. Why don't you take that and smash that down a little bit more? Hold on. Put a screw in here. After a little bit of time, Dad got this fitting pretty dang good here. Went ahead, made a cardboard template for that plate you're seeing there, and it's gonna be flat where it used to be rounded right there. Probably about time to get it thin just a tad better, then burn it all in. really good I think did not turn out too shabby this will all get cleaned up eventually but you get what we're doing here should have plenty of room for the gas pedal that brake pedal there for some reason they got the pedal part way over on that shaft so dad's gonna do it like he did the last truck and move that over give you more room for the gas pedal so you're not doing burnouts all the time time to make this rear floor pan so that's gonna be this right here dad wants to go under this and over this section back here and it'll go this wide coming down except on this side gonna make it a little longer because it's rusted out right here and we'll eventually be able to roll that down and keep it the same while fixing the rust all right change the plans instead of going under this over this back part since that'd be really difficult to be able to ever fit it get it under here and over there just gonna overlap right here and overlap back there call it good i'm getting a drawing on the metal here adding little sections like here and here for little patch panels all right test fit here made it extra big so it can patch all this hole down here this is going to get bead rolled which we've never done before but going to try it out it'll add a little bit of strength to this metal so it's not so floppy could have done it in this transmission tunnel but it's pretty strong how it is it doesn't have much wobble to it so the plan is make two different ones one here one here so this will be the first time using this homemade bead roller it seemed like it worked pretty good did a little practice trials and it takes about a sixteenth of an inch out of the metal shrinks it down so it shouldn't be too bad as this fits really tight right now That's what we're working with. This, doing the bead rolling, makes it look better. It doesn't just look like a piece of floppy metal. So I went ahead and screwed this down. I'm gonna try and form this now. You're angry. 
after lots of hammer got that sort of fin good it'll look better once you get it welded in be able to clean it up went ahead and swiss cheese this piece of metal here dad's over here he's gotten this cleaned up a little bit so we can burn it in and all the spots down through there That's going to wrap up this video, guys. Everything's looking super slick. This turned out very nice. Nice and sturdy, strong transmission tunnel done. Got body down on the frame situated. Anyways, stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe. All the good stuff because we got more to come.